Well, welcome everybody to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I am a JRPG fan, and I also enjoy action JRPGs if they're done well. I do not know anything about the Grand Blue Fantasy franchise, but this was on Steam, and my birthday was recently, and I got this, so I'm like, why not? Let's try it. Oops, sorry, alt tab to make sure everything was working fine. Are we good? We are, okay. Um, okay, I don't know anything about that. So, I'm gonna just go for it, and, you know, let's hope I enjoy it, to say the least. We'll see, shall we? Let's just hit new game. Um, I'll try hard, why not? It's okay. Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. For seven days, your crew weathered the, weathered the storm before finally breaking through the clouds. They couldn't have made it this far without you. We began as a chance encounter with a girl named L L Lyria. It became a journey to reach the end of the skies. And now a new chapter in that story is about to begin. Yeah, I have no... Nope. What do you do? Shall we start writing the first page? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know anything about Grand Blue. So, eh, hopefully the story's good. Character select. My appearance, I'm a dude. What's your name? It could be up to 10 letters long. Okay. Oh, keyboard. I'll just say good old narrow. Grande Skydom. Now we're a step closer to finishing our journey. Yeah. <sighs> it's nice we're getting closer to our goal and everything. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if our adventures never ended? To me, seeing the world with everyone is so much fun. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. Be careful what you wish for. Grand Bulu Fantasy Relink. Well, all right, it's a pretty looking game. Camera movement controls. Okay. It looks like the ship's flying steady again. Let's go check on the others. All right. Oh, there's a jump. All right. Oh. All right. 
Decent looking game. I like the art style. It moves smooth. I'm not getting any lag. I'm a level one. It looks like I'm a wind element. Because there's a bottom left, there is a green icon. I'm going to assume that's wind. So I am of the wind element. Why is going to be confirmed. Got it. Catalina? What is it, Lyria? What do you think is out there? At the end of the Sky Realm, I mean. A wall, maybe? <laughs> if there is, it'd be pretty tall. Though, now that you bring it up, I guess I've never thought about it before. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you think is at the end of the world? Um, no idea, but I'm dying to find out. No idea, but I'm dying oh, to find out. Oh, it's not a silent protagonist. Okay. Same here. Will we? No cloud unturned. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for us out there. First is Estelucia, the island of the astrals. And second is your dad. I can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. Uh-huh. But that's what makes them so exciting. It's all about the mystery. <laughs> you and Lyria are totally in sync. Okay. <sighs> You're certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Me too. Who knows what we'll find in this skydom. Hmm. Okay. So, basically, a uh, Final Fantasy airship. All right, I'm gonna say mage, maybe assassin, um, or dancer, but definitely mage. Oh, man. He's a knight. Wind flowing through your hair. <laughs> it does have a certain nostalgic quality to it. Wait, does that mean you've been to the Skydome before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're older. Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! She's right, Rackham. Eo is a mature, sophisticated lady. <laughs> Two against one ain't fair. Uh... I'm counting on you, Eo. And you won't be disappointed. My magic's getting stronger every day. Yep, so mage. Ugh, if anybody's the immature one, it's Rackham. Oh, Eo. Just forget about him. Think about these new skies we get to explore. <laughs> the music so far is good. It. A hunter. Ooh. He has a gun and an eye patch. <laughs> What's with the tunes? You put on your happy pants today or what? It's this new Skydom. Reminds me of my younger days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Anything comes close to the ship, and you'll be the first to know. Glad to have your eagle eye, Eugen. A Eugen? Yep. That's why I always eat my carrots. Why don't you go check on the rest of the crew? I got things covered up here. That's a weird pronunciation. We're on the verge of entering a new No knees up now, Captain. Yo <laughs> Seems like everyone's in high spirits. Should be seeing signs of civilization soon. I hope the island has a hotel. We got monsters! Wow. He went until they were basically on the Ah, yeah, she's like a pal then okay, with a rapier and all that. Lyria's in trouble! Get to her quick! How'd I miss a whole flock of wyverns? Were they hiding in the clouds? Neo! Rosetta! Huh? Get your head on the lip! Oh wait, oops, go back. Uh, press X to attack nearby foes. When playing as the captain, mix them wide to create various 
combos. Press Y to unleash your character's unique attack. Sometimes unique attacks can be charged up. Okay. Yeah. Out of our way. Just like that. This should do it. Incoming danger. When a foe glows red, watch out. Be prepared to guard or dodge a powerful attack about to come. Hold down the uh, left bumper to block enemy attacks. Be aware, take too much damage. Uh, okay. Nice move, bud. Uh, press right, tr uh, right trigger to dodge. Avoid taking damage when you can. That's cool. Bahamut's like a mixture of anima yeah. and Bahamut. Sure showed those losers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mess with the best. A bit overkill, if you ask me. <sighs> <laughs> we did it! Oh, it's a trap. I think. It wouldn't. I think someone's controlling Bahamut. Brace yourself! Lyria, what gives? Why is Bahamut gone all bonkers? I don't know. I thought I heard a voice and, and, and this happened. Just hold on. We'll try to get him under control again. You hear me, Bahamut? Come back to ah! Yeah! How are we gonna stay airborne with him smacking us around? He's in a full-blown rampage. I'm afraid we'll have no luck reasoning with him now. Then knock the damn thing out if you have to. He's ripping up my ship! Nice! Let's do this! Leary, we'll hold it back. You focus on calming it. Looking good. All right, Bahamut. I didn't expect to fight you so soon, but here we are. And again, I didn't expect a Bahamut in this game. The only games I know Bahamut for is Final Fantasy. Nope, just dodging. Nope, I'm getting out of there. This isn't good. I'm hurting. Oh, I'm hurting. 
No, back up, back up. It's up. Come on, Wrecker. Can't you get us out of here? You kidding? We aren't out flying those wings. Then we intercept it. That's our only option. Here, my boy! You can't get through. Something's blocking me. We can't get through. Hang on. We're in for some trouble. Oh no, is it Mega Flare? Damn it! How are we supposed to dodge that? You kids alright? Oh boy, engine room's been hit. We're about to fall under the buoyancy threshold. Boy again! Frank, I'll hit the repairs. Do what you can to slow our descent. Oh great, we're going down. There must down. be a way out of this. Don't give up. Nah, I give up. Where are you? Oh, he's over here. He's too tall. You guys think we'll make it through this? Hey, we're not licked yet. Muhammad just needs a couple more hard smacks. Nope. There's only so much I can do with the wheel. Hurry it up, Oregon. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Yeah, I think it was a bit overkill of Son Bahamut, and I think that's what whoever wanted oh, no. it to happen happened. can't take much more! Seriously? Does Bahamut think we're a buffet or what? One more and the show's over. Boykin, how much longer? Take this here. We'll sit there. Okay, try and give her some juice. Back in business. I'll grab us some air and try to shake him off. Muhammad in the dust! Has its rage been calmed? No. Wait. Huh? Oh no! Yep. Do not summon for a We're while. Okay now. You say that, but the ship looks awful. Jeez, really had me worried there. I. Lyria! Tucked away on the secluded island of, uh, Zinkin still? Nothing exciting ever seemed to happen to this young man or his pal Vern. But that all changed when the girl named Lyria arrived out of the blue. Ward's newest adventure unfolds across this western stretch of sky, home to islands such as Lug Lutang? And oh geez, this one's gonna be a fun one to read. Luckily, it does seem like I don't know for chapter one.
the western frontier. To boldly go when no Clearly man's gone voice before. echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met, before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... You protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest. Finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I, not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. Then, finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from the ship. Then Vern and I leapt after her. Mm-hmm. Wow, what's this really good looking environment? The backgrounds almost look like they're water watercolor. Did that dream about Lyria again? Maybe you bumped your head on the way down. Uh, speaking of Lyria, I didn't see where she fell. She should be close. Let's search the area. Yeah, it looks almost watercolorish, the background and the trees and all that. Hmm, I like that. The music? Hmm, I think I'm gonna enjoy this game. Even though I have no idea what's happening. I don't know Grand Blue. Dang, this forest is huge! Don't get us lost, okay, pal? I am making no promises, pal. Ooh, that's a good combo. I should try that next time. Ugh. I bet everybody's worried sick. Wonder when we'll see them again. I should probably stop roll. Oh, never mind. There is loot. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I hope our next one is Lyria. There we go. Let's see. I want the loot. You want awesome. something? It might come in handy later. Huh? It's a heart! Ah! It looks like the path continues behind that ivy. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> right. now, move on. I have a very weird running animation. Hmm. That was Lyria! Hurry! This way! Hey! 
Well, maybe next time she won't throw herself off an airship. I mean, I know she passed out, but eh, I'm gonna blame her for it. Mm. Oh, looks like some wolves, hyenas. Nah. Lock on LT. Roger Dodger. You can take him right. Show him who's boss. You can do it. Looking good. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm. This should do it! Alright, combo feels pretty uh, not combo, combat feels pretty good. I believe in you! Good, at least someone does after throwing themselves off an airship. B and hit hang on those buttons. Okay, cool. so there's a skill. All right. Break and leg. Yeah, buddy, got the whole herd. Ooh. gave up hope really fast every character has their own support skills one of the captain's support skills is called adept arts which enhances the abilities of activated skills recovery <laughs> items yeah i noticed the bomb left uh hold the keypad to use recovery items mess and might taste bitter but it's better than biting the dust now let's lose these trees and meet up with the crew Okay. Hmm. I am 15%. Is that... Ooh! Okay, we have stuff. We have skills. Be sure to assign skills to your characters in order to use them. New skills can be learned from masteries. I really like this music so far. Ugh. Skills can be assigned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I only got that one. Okay. For me, music can make or break a game. If a game does not have good music, it can have good story, but it's like, eh, but if it has good music, hmm. Items you collected on your adventures are stored in your inventory. Consumables such as spellbooks and ambrosia are usable from this menu. Select a treasure and press Y to add it to your wish list. When you visit a knickknack shack, our quest counter items on your wish list will be marked with an icon of your uh, for your convenience. Okay. A traveler sword, equipped by the captain. This is a simple bronze sword that marks the beginning of a young boy's odyssey in the into the endless blue, one which will lead him to the stars. A lifelink when Ward perished while defending Lyria from the Ursti, Ur, Ursti Empire's clutches, she shared her life force with the future captain, saving Ward and sparking an incredible adventure. They now share an unbreakable bond. Uh, Lyria's journal. Catalina purchased this notebook for Lyria from the first port market they visited together. With each new entry, the journal grows more into an anthology of snapshots detailing the crew's travels. And a sky piece map. These curious artifacts are found throughout the Sky Realm in the possession of mighty primal beasts. 
Only when all these markers have been collected will a path to Eslucia reveal itself. Okay. A uh, fortitude ship. A shard, my bad. A forti fortitude shard. A crystal shard replete with the memories of warriors. These recollections of training coax a, mi a minute a minute amount of power of armaments. Prism charm, a small chip from a primal crystal, cobblestone, rolling winds rolled this stone until it became nice and round, and the Raphael coin, a commemorative coin issued by the Crew Alliance Raphael. Thanks to partnership, okay. Lyria's journal. Lyria takes many notes on the... Uh, let me reread that. Lyria takes many notes as the journey continues. Check out her journal for useful tips and information. Main story. Story so far. Well, we have something for me to read. Okay. Okay. Uh, one day the Erst Empire battleship suddenly appears over Zinske, Z Zinstil, War Zinstil, Ward's island home. A light descends from the ship, and Ward rushes to the woods to investigate. There, Ward finds a blue-haired girl named Lyria being hounded up by the Empire. When the Imperial pursuers catch up to her, they release a dreadful monster. War battles valiantly to protect Lyria, but ultimately suffers fatal injur injuries in the one-sided fight. As Ward slips closer to death, Lyria links her life force to Ward's own. Not only does the girl's determination save Ward's life, it triggers a powerful reaction that summons Bahamut, a fearsome black dragon who drives off the Imperials. From that day forward, the fate of Lyria and Ward would be inextricably linked. Blah, 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 blah. Ward's father left Zint still many years ago, leaving behind a letter telling Ward to come to the Promised Land, an island called Estulicia. Ward has dreamed of venturing out into the vast blue ever since. Now, accompanied by Lyria and her garden Catalina, the journey is no longer a dream, but reality. Like their father before them, Ward decides to uh, decides, decides to form a Skyfair crew for the journey ahead. Arriving at the Port Breeze Archipelago, Ward visits the local Knickknack Shack and learns about Rockman, a former helmsman who since give given up his trade. Though he has no intention of flying again, he changes his mind when the Erst Empire attacks Port Breeze. Amid the conflict, Rackham's passion for flying returns, and afterward he pledges his pilot, pilot, piloting skills and ship, the Grand Cipher, to Ward's cause. Ward's fledgling crew go, grows with each visit to a new local. In Vault Duchy, they recruit Eo, a promising mage with exceptional talent, and Auguste, the anti-imperial sharpshooter, Eugene, joins their ranks, and so does Rosette, Rosetta, a shrewd mysterious beauty hailing from Lumsia. As more allies come aboard the Grand Cipher, their conflict in the Empire approaches its a climactic solution, uh, showdown. The Prime Minister of Erst Empire intends to sacrifice the citizens of the Imperial Capital in order to activate the primal beast, Aksha, and use its power to rewrite history. Ward's crew and allies put a stop to the Prime Minister's scheme by sealing away the primal. Once defanged, the Empire quickly loses its authority and collapses. After taking down the er uh, the Ar Arist Empire, Ward's crew leaves the Fanta, Fanta Grande Skydom to continue their journey. They pass through the Skydoms of Nal, Nalagrand and Orli, or, Orli, Grande, Orli Grande to arrive at the doorstep of a vast expanse they've yet to explore. Zara Grande Skydom. Alright. Oh, these are cutscenes, so I do not have to do that. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. As you can tell, I'm an excellent reader. Alright. Alright. 
So Ward's the age of 15, height 170 centimeters. He's a human. Mountain hiking and staying active. For his hobbies, he likes friends, adventures, and skies. He dislikes giving speeches. On the remote island of Zin Zinken Still, lived a young boy and his best pal Vern. His father departed the island years ago, leaving for his leaving for his son a single letter with instructions to head to Estalusia, Island of the Astrals. As if guided by an invisible hand of fate, the young man crossed paths with Bleria, kicking off his quest to track down his father. Over the course of various events, he assembled a diverse crew of allies from across all over the Sky Realm, becoming one of the youngest Skyfaring captains to traverse the Big Blue. Burn. Who knows how old they are? Uh, people, unknown, hobbies, basking in the sun, likes apples, dislikes unruly children. This little red dragon has been Ward's, uh, has been by Ward's side since Ward was a wee babe. They grew up together on Zinskill, Zinskill Island. Nothing gets on his nerves more than being called cute, a pet, or worst of all, a lizard. He has been known to boast of being a dragon who's a mighty, who, as mighty as he is cool. Lyria, age unknown. Height. She's a human. She lo uh, she likes to sing and go on walks. She likes Catalina. Ward dislikes monsters. Lyria's mysterious mysterious ability to bring primal beasts under her control caught the attention of the Earth's Empire. The Imperials locked her away for further research and assigned her guard, Catalina, to make sure she couldn't escape. Thankful thankfully for Lyria, Catalina sympathized with the girl and freed her from captivity. Together they fled the from the Empire, eventually running into war on Zinsis Zinkenstil. Ward stood up to Lyria's Imperial pursuers and was killed for the act of bravery. Filled with guilt and remorse, Lyria was compelled to save the courageous bystander's life by sharing her own. Ever since that day, her fate's been intertwined with that of Ward's. Catalina is 24. She likes to collect swords. Which, eh, that's a decent hobby. She likes cute things, small animals, and cooking, if you can't call it that. Oh, wait, if you can call it that. Okay, don't let her cook for you is what I'm getting at. She dislikes bugs. Though Catalina was once devoted knight of the Earth Empire, her allegiance shattered when she discovered the cruel Imperial experiments being run on Lyria. They fled together, eventually meeting Ward in the forest of Zinskill, an encounter which proved uh, to be the beginning of a grand adventure. Rackham, 29, he uh, darts and gun maintenance, he likes afternoon map naps, but hates pushy people. Thorn through the sky in an airship, Grand Cypher, Rack uh, Rackham, has made a name for himself as a skilled helmsman. An accident once caused him to swear off the skies forever, but Ward prompted him to take the helm once more. He has since become a steadfast ally. Through blunt, though blunt, Rackham is remarkably caring and enjoys looking after others. Eo's eleven. Uh, she loves fashion. She likes her teacher. This likes creepy old men. A budding mage who strives to become a proper lady. When Ward and, her, uh, and crew were visiting Volt, Volt's duchy, they aided her in the search for her missing master. Daka the Great. After they found him, she decided to join the crew on their journey. Eo is persistent and refuses to give up in the face of adversity, but she could be inflexible too. Eugene uh, Eugen is 50. He's human. He loves weightlifting and fishing. He loves sweets, but he hates babies. A veteran soldier racked with guilt. For years, he served as a mercenary for his homeland. The, Aug the Aug August Islands defying the Earth's empire every turn. Now he travels with Ward's crew to face his past. A crafty fellow, Yugen often mis mystifies others with sayings accumulated from his years of experience and rosetta age unknown if i guess probably 20s or 30s uh, she's a primal beast 
Huh. Gar she loves gardening, likes attractive people, regardless of gender, so male or female, and dislikes machines. So, she loves nature, hates machines, makes sense. During Ward's travels, this... Enigmatic uh, beauty charmed her way in the crew out of the blue. She seems to know the answers to many mysteries plaguing their journey, but preferring the role of a mere observer. She usually keeps her cards close to her heart. Rosetta is the incantation of a primal beast, Rose Queen, and has traveled with Ward's father in the past. Interesting. Okay, then you have the wyvern, and I'm not I'm not worried about reading all that. Oh, I think I've read enough. Let's play some games, shall we? Yes. Now that I think about it, the first time we met was in a oh. horse like this. I was thinking about that too. Back in Zinkenstill, right? Yeah. Zinkenstill. Sure okay, that's close. Huh? Everybody back home's doing. Hey. Well, this place has cobblestones. Ooh. Seems you. Archives. Check out the archives in Lyria's journal, the reading notes, and other documents. You oh. Wait, what is it? A new journal entry's been added. Give me a second. Obtained documents. A traveler's journal. Oh. Okay, so this is actually important, kind of. <clears throat> Here we go again. I'm sorry. I know you don't want me to read. Volka's on the other side of the forest, so I'd figure I'd just cut through the brush and save a buttload of time. Right? Wrong. I didn't even know the trees could get this tall and dense. So much from navigating by the sun. I've been going around circle for hours. Whoever says getting lost is a real thrill the journey is an idiot. Oh, well. It was kind of fun for like first 10 minutes. Uh-oh, was that a monster roaring in the distance? It sounded pretty big. As soon as I catch my breath, I'm out of here. Okay. So I'm going to be finding journal entries. Interesting. Oh, this chest is silver. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Enemies. Yeah, I saw that. More monsters. You ready? Not really. Yeah, I have a feeling. And elemental properties. Every character attacks and skills have an elemental property. The elemental is the element is represented by the color icon next to the character or skill. The captain's element is wind. I noticed that. Bows take more damage from the element elements they're weak to, which is represented by the icon to, No, wait, oh. Oh, I've been reading that wrong. The timber wolf is weak to the captain's element. Oh. Looking nope. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that. This should do it. Oh. Close call. Huzzah. Okay, so they're weak to the element next to their name. And there's more where that came from. Now, forward march. Right now I have art level four, whatever that means. Lyria is the guest in the party. You got cobblestone. It's this way. It seems like it's not the way. Is it? No. Treasure. Let's see. Nice find. Okay. There's gonna be little hidden paths. Okay. Ooh, give me a second. It seems like you guys hide a bunch of chests. Oh well. Let's continue. Hmm. I think I can see a path on the other side. Okay. Ooh. 
another wind shard okay will the art four go away ever or no is that gonna stay i get it i have a rank four art which i don't know what that exactly means maybe the longer you don't you that's a ballerina if i've ever seen one Yep, ballerina. Oh, boss. Thank you. It's a quick dial. Alright, let's do this. Right here. Real beast of a boulder, ain't it? I'm being very cautious right now. Looking good. Breaking leg. Come on. Looking good. Yes. Okay. Party members are here. I actually thought I was doing pretty good. Let's just take down the monster already. We're saved! I could kiss you guys! <laughs> oh, oh. Glad to see you too, I'm, I'm out of there. Get in position, Ready people. We can take it out if we leave our attack. Just like that! Yeah. On my mark! Now it's this! Yeah! I think I'm doing a pretty good job right now. Okay, wait. Link attack. A bow stun gauge fills up it, uh, as it takes hits. Once its stun gauge is full, a link chance will trigger. Pressing B during a link cha link chance to perform link attack. Okay. The right the that went well. I was just getting Indeed. warmed up. Let's keep it up. Oh wait. Uh, performing certain action, which has link attacks, raises the party's link level. If all party members perform a link attack at 100%, you'll gain temporary buff. Yeah, I immediately ran away from that. I wasn't staying there for that. Heads up, guys! I got a bad feeling about this. Uh oh. Mode bar and boss status is a boss mode. Boss's mode bar fills up as it takes damage. Once full, the boss goes into overdrive and becomes even more dangerous. Conversely, a boss's bar mode bar depletes as it takes damage while in overdrive. And some bars deplete, it enters break. This is your chance to lay on the herd. Really Alright, let's do this. Looking good. Oh yeah! Just like that! On my mark! Breaking leg! Nope, out there. Here goes. Say your prayers. Yeah. Can't let him know. Gotcha. Yes. Understood. Just like that. Catch this. Hold on. Nope. You guys. Turn that plot into crap. Okay, sky box, skybound arts. Pressing left and right uh, joysticks in when your skybound art gauge is full to unleash devastating attack. Now's our chance! On me! Tempest Blade! Ha! Catalina, I'll protect you! Blade the Frost! Back up! Loud and clear! Just like that! What's this? On my mark! I know! Don't hold back! Bring it! Gale first! Ooh, okay. 
a chain burst. When multiple sky skybound arts are activated in succession, it triggers a powerful final attack called a chain burst. Try chaining everyone's SBAs together for a full burst. Okay, chaining scum skybound art modes. Uh okay. Alright. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it with this game right now. Hmm. We made it in time. Oh. Well, I could take a guess who those two are. The other two who weren't in the back. <laughs> Rosetta! Blaken! Do forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you saved some fun for me. Ooh. Looks like everyone's no worse for wear. Oh, thanks for the save, Eugen. Oh, I was saying his name wrong. I thought it was Eugen or Eugen, but it's like a U. It's like Eugen. Lyria, about what happened with Bahamut. Do you have it under control now? Yes, I think I do. Uh, why did it flip out on us? I don't really know. Well, hanging out here isn't gonna help. How about we head back to the Grand Cipher? I'm with Eo. Better get moving before more monsters get the munchie. I don't know. I'm enjoying the combat. Let them. In that case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling it leads to a nearby town. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Zego Grande? Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Zego Grande. Okay. Let's go check out that town then. Yeah, that's a good idea. What we need right now is information. Then it's settled. Into town we go. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Oh, Vern, you're always thinking about food. Oh. <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, my tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. Okay. Oh, wonder what kind of city it'll be. Can't wait to find out. Probably just you know be what a... I'm wondering? Oh. How'd you guys fall from that high up without a scratch? It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the canopy broke our fall. In any case, we got lucky. Hey, any skyfarer who tells you life ain't about luck is a liar in my book. Hmm. Oh. oh. Oh yeah, look at that painting look, over there. I see buildings. <laughs> Seems like a pleasant place to unwind. Only one way to find out. Let's go. They have animal ears. <laughs> oh boy, this town is nice. Let's pillage it. <laughs> Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kind of reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. Me? But I feel fine. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain? Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Where you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. 
In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. We just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you, geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. Oh, I think it looks like a church. Um, Yugen's English voice actor sounds almost like the around. English voice actor of old floor. Joseph Joestar. Alright, we got another one. Let's go to Lyria's journal. Okay, never got a field. No, no. Archive. A message from Defense Corps. Attention, folk uh, residents. Recently, we've received a disturbing number of reports of monster sightings in the forest. Unfortunately, the Corps is unable to ramp up patrols at this time. We request that residents refrain from entering the forest if possible. If you absolutely must head into the forest, please consult with us beforehand. We apologize for the inconvenience. I really wish if I wanted to back out of the journal, it stopped asking me. Are you sure you want to back out of the journal? Yes, I'm sure. Come on! I want to take a look around. I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. Alright, so we got kids being kids. Alright. What should we do first? So many choices. I don't know. <laughs> I have to say, you're a real lifesaver. Well then, see you next time. It's always a pleasure. Ah, come again. This is. You might just say I'm everywhere. Everywhere the cash flows. <laughs> <laughs> Visit the knickknack shack for all your travel tasks. Okay. Uh, knickknack shack. Uh, okay. Theory Carte is a renowned merchant who offers a plethora of goods and services to travelers and residents alike. In fact, let's trade with her right now. Okay. Looks like you have enough Raphael coins for a Fortitude Shard. Fighty Mine? Okay. Make some Fighty Mine weapon! Ah, you must be the one Ciro mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear. The blacksmith take care of all things related. Well, okay, weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh. We'll do it once. I don't think I need to do more at the moment. Okay. Icons displayed at the top of the screen indicates where useful s facilities are located. The blank, uh, the icon points to the next story objective. You can save your game at any time with the main menu in town. Okay. Glad we know where to look if we need to sharpen our weapons. <laughs> you can say that again. Now, back to goofing off. Got an order? Once your weapon's tempered? Oh yeah, press X to automatically select the most suitable materials for leveling up the chosen weapons. This feature makes upgrading a breeze. I'll handle it. Okay, she can use fortitude charms. Honestly, I don't know who to upgrade, so I'm just gonna hold on to mine for now. Don't forget about upkeep. Excuse me. 
Hello, weird deer lady. De is it deer? I don't know. Side quest. Townspeople marked with the icon above their uh, uh, are them in need of help. A good deed never goes unrewarded. Okay. Annoying neighbors. Blast the, those goblins. They always pestered us. Sure. But lately they become more and more vicious. Teach them a lesson, will ya? I get attack power 1, fortitude shard if I defeat goblin stormers. We've already seen a lot of action today. So let's take the explorer nice and steady. Doesn't mean I can't accept it. Hell, well. This town seems pretty chill, huh? Yep, this game's definitely anime related. <laughs> Hello. Crewmate card. Unlocking characters. Use crewmate cards to unlock a new party member to join your on your journey. The more the merrier. Sending out the old crew signal, eh? Card. Whoa, you're short. Holy cow, I want him. All right. Oh, those two are special. Okay, right, let's see who we can recruit. All right, Charlotta. A knight who serves the captain of Lumia. Or... Yeah, she is. Oh, everyone has a difficulty usage. Founder of the Eternal... Okay, his name is... Gondagaza... Gondagaza. Gonda Gaza. Okay. Uh, founder of the Eternal Rage style. He has, he has accomplished many legendary feats with his furious fist. I want you. I want you. Barry. A young ghost who accidentally summons Celeste, the primal beast of death. Her afterlife was originally spent in isolation, but after finding her lovable ghost pets her lonely days seem to be a thing of a past holy cow you look awesome uh naramaya a swordswoman born to a long line of martial art masters she is trained artificially artificially to combine her family's martial arts and magic in her own style swordplay Lancelot, a knight who leads the Order of White Dragons. He earned the trust of the King of Citizens. Beendarak. Beendrak. Through his. Uh... Oh, it's getting late for me, and I'm trying to read this. Vane, the vice captain of Fiendrak's Order of White Dragons. He is ardent champion of justice who despises evil. Our Percivial. The knight who travels the skies in hopes of creating his ideal country. Known as the Lord of Flames, first prowess with the sword and ability to manipulate fire. Siegfried, exceptional knight with calm demeanor. After falling victim to a court conspiracy, he fled the country to become a tragic hero. Wow, you seem cool. Hagil... Oh, jeez. Pagalistrio, a brilliant mage who founded alchemy in the Sky Realm. She has learned how to achieve virtual immortality by regularly replacing her body with new vessels that suit her tastes. Oh, so, okay. Uh, Yadara, a jolly old fisherman who is content with passing his days atop his mountain home. He was once a famed swords master with many pupils, but that was a long time ago. You wanna save a few cents. Zada, a daring warrior who hunts primal beasts for the, for the society. Contractor to the seal weapon known as Spear, as Spear of Averse, uh, Arves. She uses her speed and great effect in battle, okay? Oh, wow, this guy's a one? A wrath? warrior who hunts primal beasts for the society contractor the seal weapon known as the great scythe grinoth he uses his incredible strength and unyielding spirit to overwhelm his foes that guy seems cool in those two 
I I want him. Claim add-ons. No add-ons currently available. Oh, hi. Okay. Lingering Regret. Nearly retired venturer. My days as a big name treasure hunter are almost behind me. I made one too many blunders, you see. Thing is, there's something my partner and I were after that continues to elude us. They can get it for us. Again, Aegis 2 Silver Key for Golem Finger. Let's do our best. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just reading the menu. Look at today's special. All right, all right. Eugen's already, uh, making connections with the locals. Methods aside, he did know all the talk in Auguste. Mercenaries sure are resourceful. Auguste. Okay, Auguste. Ahoy, Captain. Enjoying yourself? Oh, brother. At least one of us is, that's for sure. Come here. Let you in on a tip I heard. Word is there's a village that runs a mining operation on a nearby island. It's got an altar dedicated to, get this, the primeval god. And when this god stirs up a wind, loads of ore gets exposed, ripe for the plucking. Then, this town takes those mined ores to make the finest jewelry. We'd be rich if we got in on the action somehow. You're catching my drift? Anyway, gonna stay put and sniff around for more info. I'll let you know what I hear. See you later, Captain. Okay. Bye -bye, <laughs> All right. headed straight for the docks, huh? He takes such good care of the Grand Cipher. I guess after everything we've put her through, she deserves the TLC. Right. Huh. Airship of that size is a first for me, but I reckon I can handle her. Uh, sorry for pushing you guys. <laughs> Shucks, it ain't nothing. I'll leave this spot empty, so go ahead and fly her in. Thanks a million. I'll get right on it. Rackham! Hi! Well, look who it is. I managed to find a place that can patch up the Grand Cipher. Just got done haggling with him. Um, I'm sorry the ship got hurt. That was my fault. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You had nothing to do with it. But I... Look, it was a random accident. No one could have known our dragon friend would go all crazy. Wonder what upset Bahamut. Beats me. I just hope it's not an omen of bad things to come. Got a feeling it's an omen for bad things to come. <sighs> no point losing sleep over what ifs. Let's just forget about it for now, okay? And not use Bahamut until we figure out what went wrong. Okay. Thanks for cheering me up. There's that smile. Besides, we're in a new Skydom. Let's see some more enthusiasm, huh? Anyway, I'd better go move the Grand Cipher before anything happens to her. Go have fun. I got the ship covered. Right, one second. Yep, nope, it's all behaving. It's me being paranoid. Just want to double check Obayash. Alright, we'll go over here first. This place is definitely lively, I'll tell you that. Lost side quest. Hello, small fry. Little hints. Save the crusta crustaceans. Holy cow. Hey, do you know. Do you like crabs? There's a type called wee pincers, but my dad says they're getting harder to find. If you spot some, can I have them? I've always wanted pet crabs. Okay. Little pints. This boy rescues rare creatures called wee pincers. If you find one, he'll be happy to take it in. Let's do our best. I don't know where I can find those. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <Take this. laughs> 
Seems useful. A fishing tournament ad. Oh, wait. Okay, and you can pin these. So, definitely pin and pin. One's just gonna be there. Alright, archive the fishing tournament flyer. Calling all anglers. Come on down to the pond for a day of exciting fishing action. It's free to enter, so what do you have to lose? We even have prizes for first and second place. Still not convinced? Don't be the only one to miss out on all on all the booths selling fish gear and delicious food. A celebration second only in the size of the annual Harvest Festival. From beginners to masters, we hope to reel in a huge crowd. Who knows, you might even get to take a flying casting lesson from the famous fish go fisher god himself. The fisher god's unpredictable as the weather. Attendance not guaranteed. The fisher god. No idea. Are you the fisher god? <laughs> Seems like just yesterday when there was barely half the hustle and bustle in this town. Mm -hmm. Looks like our country life so soon I'll be making big in this city. What's Rosetta doing? Probably better not to ask. Every oh. rose has its thorns, and every primal beast has her secrets. Too late, we're talking. Hi, Rosetta! Nice of you to drop by, Lyria. Come to see my part of town? Actually... I wanted to ask you how I could help the crew. Is that so? Well, I'd say there's no need to stress out about it. But I want to be useful and do my share. Oh dear. <laughs> I think you might be overthinking this. Still, isn't there something I can do? Let's see. Guidebooks are pretty useful. Ever thought about writing one? Write my own guidebook? Just jot down the fun things you've seen and done. Whatever you want to share with us. Better than complaining all the time. That's like the opposite of being helpful. You're right. Okay, I'll write the best guidebook ever. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. Such a refreshing breeze. If I had guess. We've already seen a lot of action today, so let's take the explorer nice and steady. This. Ooh. All right, silver key. Maybe I'll get a ticket. Then I might get a new character. I'm just running around the town right now trying to learn the layout. Also just, you know, enjoying it. Uh, this town seems pretty chill, huh? Not yet. <laughs> Eo, we've come a long way since we met on Framel. With how much she knows about magic, I still can't believe she's younger than me. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what you looking at? <laughs> you dumb lizard! Don't sneak up on me like that! Ugh, for the millionth time, I ain't no lizard! So, what you doing, Neo? <sighs> Checking out the makeup selection. That's so grown up. An elegant lady knows the importance of looking her best. I see. I still don't know anything about makeup. You're naturally pretty, but a dab here or there could bring out a whole new you. Really? I don't know if that's me at all. How about this? Next time we'll do our faces together. With Rosetta's tutoring, of course. Aren't you curious how Lyria will look, Captain? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I can be a sophisticated lady too. Gee, what a selection. I don't know what most of this stuff is for. Hello. Okay. Um... <laughs> Another silver key. Uh oh. 
The girl next door is a believer. Okay. Hmm. Okay, from what I just read, there's a bunch of religious people in town who are converting people, and it's not a good thing. If I have a feeling, that's gonna play a major role in this. Catalina, training again. Guess old military habits die hard, huh? If she hadn't betrayed the Earth Day Empire to save Lyria, who knows where we'd be now? Hi, Catalina! What you doing? I might get in some training. I once spent hours practicing my strikes. Ooh, no wonder you're a master swordswoman. <laughs> Not yet, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm halfway there at best. You're no slouch either, buddy. But I wonder who's better, you or Catalina. Probably Catalina. <laughs> it's hard to say at a glance, though it might be fun to cross swords sometime. You mean like a sparring match? I wouldn't know who to root for. Then why not both? Oh, you're right. There's no rule that says I can only pick one side. Hmm. Uh, Captain, before we proceed any further, I have just one thing. Make hmm. sure to check our mastery points from time to time. Battles may begin to feel tense if we don't sharpen our skills. Masteries? Characters gain mastery points MSP upon leveling up. Mastery points are spent to raise stats, learn skills, and more. Now, what, uh, now would be a perfect time to see that in action. Let's have the captain acquire a new skill. Masteries. Okay, every character can become a powerhouse. Let's start with the captain. Each mastery node is unlocked with mastery points. Select armor break node. Uh, okay, skill armor break. A fast lunge attack that inflects defense down on a foe. Hmm. Hefty. Congratulations on acquiring a new skill. How you develop your characters now is in your hands. I can also do defense, increasing my health and all that. Okay. Let's see how in depth this goes. All the way down. All the way down. Just go. All right, how many mastery points do I have? Uh, ten. I can unlock, boost attack power, cost two. Um. Ooh. Good stuff. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that, that's how it's done. And I that. love learning new stuff. Wait, castle giant circle. Oh, that's actually really useful, actually. Ooh. A heal. Uh, um. Okay, this enables launch. Press X right after jumping. Okay. Hmm. Well, increase my... Nice! I'm actually going. Oh, actually, let's get this. Yeah, I think I get it. Good stuff. Alina. Oh, she only has one. Oh, wait, do we all share SP? Because if so, oh, n I'll practice day and night. I mustn't fall behind our captain after all. If you're done looking around, we can start heading to the meetup spot a little early. Yeah, there's not much I can do. All right, let's go to the church. It's definitely not going to have a very awful religious group. The thing is... mm -hmm. yes. mm. One more. Yeah. Mr. Fix-It to rely on. 
I'm mostly trying to pay attention to see if they're talking anymore about it. Alright, who are you? You're Anita Handyman. Oh, you Mr. Fix-It? The people, the guy that one dude was talking about just now? Oops. Alright, glossary. No, not glossary. Archive. Anita Handyman. Let me fix your problems. Tired of old creaky furniture. Bad relationship got you down. Then bring your problems to Mr. Fix-It. My back's been killing me lately. How do I tell her I love her? I can't find my cat. I solved issues like these and more. Head on down to the church today and get your free consultation. God damn it. Let me just exit, please. Mr. Fix it. I got it. A meetup spot was somewhere around here, right? Dush. Awesome. I am still going around town. You. Hmm. And they're waiting for somebody by the water wheel. A dude. Probably her boyfriend or a friend. Alright, let's wait and not regret my life decisions of waiting. Are you done looking around? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the other. Look, it's the Grand Cypher! Oh yeah! Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip. But you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. So, um, intertwined. She gave half her life, half her life force or whatever, to save him from do being dead. Does that mean if one of us dies, the other one dies right now? Since we're intertwined? <laughs> now hmm. my face feels a little hot. <laughs> so true. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone want to... Almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Pardon my rudeness. I, uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon! Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> Roland. You've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? It's something of angered Tempil's primal beast? Huh? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. ran off in a hurry and i heard him say primal beast we should follow him okay so primal beast caused a tornado which took out town 
Come on. Oh, wait, I never actually done this. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, I, nah, I know. I should save. Just saying. What? You want to want... It's gonna be short. But I'm gonna actually call the first episode here. What a better way to stop than something like that happening. And also, most of it's just me reading stupid bios and backstory to understand a little bit of what's going on. Which I don't think I really need anything anyways, but I want to. Mostly to get at least a little more insight into characters and the story of what's going on. So far, the combat is enjoyable. The music is really good. The art style, like, it, <laughs> things from far away look really nice. I also like the looks of the characters and all that. This might... Also, there's an item on top of that building. Hmm. I think I'm gonna like this game. Hmm. But until then, um, I'm gonna take a break. It's getting late for me. I want to go to bed. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to see you next time. And, well, yeah. And we'll continue and see what's up with this primal beast and all that. And the tornado. So, see you. Bye.